packages to open. So yeah, I've been getting some uh, Fox backdrop backdrops lately, like the blue one, and then the pink with flowers one, and then there's like a blue blossom one. Um, so yeah, but they sell some uh, photo shoot props as well. So I thought it would be fun to test a few items for those looking for uh, photo shoot items and they don't live in the Netherlands so they cannot really get them from the stores where I get them because I like buying locally, I like going to thrift stores, I like making my own props and headbands and accessories and whatever and I buy from uh, Petite Blossom and handmade by Sophie and Mama's Dotje uh, but they're all like Dutch web shops. Um, so for those living far away, uh, they're looking for props and outfits and stuff as well. So I think here I still have to assemble it myself. Um, it's a wooden bench, I think, or a little bed. I think it's like a wooden bed that I want to use for sitter sessions, maybe for newborn sessions. Okay, so they already made some holes in the wood where you have to put the screws in, but not in the... Uh, bed part so there it will just like twist in and the wood is very soft up here you can see how thin the wood is and I'm not quite sure if it's strong enough for the baby because it, it feels a little bit um, weak and it's very light wood the wood is so soft it's actually making going through the wood um, like I'm, just, I'm just being honest like I'm gonna show you how soft the wood is here you can see the pre manufactured hole in the wood and here my screw is actually sinking in it's going right through the wood so I've chosen this model because I like it that the baby is sitting um, in it even when they're like six months old and they're still a little bit wobbly when they're sitting by themselves so then they have something to hold on to they have support on their sides and on their back so i think it's like a super cute however i don't know if i think it's like the most sturdiest bed um so maybe there's a way of like putting more wood underneath so you actually secure the bottom a little bit more so there's no way that they can sink through um i think the sides are okay that's pretty sturdy here it is, the finished bed. I like the finish, the color, and it's very nice. Okay, so today I have a sitter session with a little boy, and I wanna use the bed that's over there. So I'm gonna show you the setup, and I really hope it's strong and sturdy enough for the baby, and otherwise we won't use it, of course. Um, we'll see. So here you see the setup, the bed. I just placed some burlap underneath and then the blanket inside. Really curious to see how it fits. And I have the bench and more decor. Okay, my tongue looks blue, I just had to eat dinner. <laughs> anyway, um, adorable little boy, and we used this little bit, uh, and it was great. It feels strong enough, it feels sturdy enough, definitely wasn't falling apart. And this baby um, was like leaning over the edge to grab the eucalyptus and eat them. Well, attempted eating them. We did take them away from him, but um, nothing happened with the bed because it's very 
solid like sturdy it's not thick it's not super strong thick wood it's actually really lightweight and um, it feels a little bit thin but it doesn't tip over when the baby's sitting in it and um, yeah it felt the baby was sitting just fine so um, we used, and it looked adorable the boy was adorable and sitting in the bed was adorable and it's great for those babies who want to crawl away or um, cannot sit up unsupportedly that well yet they have some support they can hold on to the sides and everything so uh, great and it's very smooth it doesn't have like splinters or unfinished rough edges which is great for babies so yeah overall a good lightweight product like if you're looking for sturdy heavy woods like real oak wood whatever this is not your bet but if you're just looking for a very lightweight easy to ship um yeah little bed it's it's fine it's great this should have like some floral bonnets inside i want to use for sitter sessions and i have one which is beautiful and it's from a dutch website i'm gonna just grab it quickly like here you see a floral bonnet and it's beautiful and i bought it here locally from uh, Mama's Dorcha and it cost me like 60 euros I think something like that 65 55 somewhere around that price range but it's like handmade and it's beautiful and it's full um, this one already feels pretty light so and it's it's small and it should have like multiple inside so I don't know if they can be compared as far as like the quality but we'll see Let's see what's inside so here you can see the floral bonnets. Yeah, they're they're smaller and lighter. Uh, they have three inside. And I'm just gonna show them up close to you. So here you see the three colors. Okay, so here you can see them up close. Um, the three colors. The design is different. And they're just completely different than the one I got here locally, but still. Like here you can see the back situation. So it's like felt. Um, sewn together. I think this is the one I got here made locally. Ooh, something just fell off. You can see the difference as well. Um, of course, I mean, they're very different, but I, I still think they're nice. And maybe it's actually quite nice that they're a bit smaller because uh, they can be used for the smaller babies. And I think, still think they look really cute. Here, the flowers look a little bit more fake, I think. In the purple one, they look quietly full in the in the front as well and we so cute for like just a, like an Easter photo usually I have my sitter sessions quite neutral and simple and just lots of focus on the pureness of the baby like soft colors back drops uh, soft colors outfits not too much distraction but sometimes I like to add in one or two photos with a little bit more color and flowers and just, um, yeah, nice, uh, uh, just something different that you would only use for photos. So there are some parts that fell off during the travels, uh, but overall, I mean, they were sh uh, packed well, they look lovely, um, and I think they're super cute. So I'm excited to use them during an actual session, and then I'll show you, of course, behind the scenes and photos and everything. Hello. Uh, so today I have a cake smith session here in the studio and instead of using balloons and paper decorations and banners and whatever she just wants to have a floral backdrop with a very simple basic cake um, but we're not going to use this floral backdrop we're going to use the other one more like pinkish blue one um, so I'm going to put that on when she starts eating the cake but I thought now for the portrait photos uh, it would be fun to have another floral backdrop so we're gonna use this one and then the dark wood. Um, so it's just gonna be like a very simple white cake. I'm gonna show you in a second. And then I'm gonna pin in this uh, wooden one. They do break very easily. So you might just wanna grab them out before the child starts destroying it. So here you see the cake now. It's very simple, very basic. So this is what I have as a first setup. So here you see the um, backdrop and a very cute outfit and then the bonnet super cute and then just a, a wooden 
buckets, I think, where she can sit in. And here you see another setup. So we have the wooden bed uh, with some eucalyptus and some berries. And then here is a very cute bonnet that we can maybe use. And here I have a very cute outfit. So hopefully we can use those. Okay, so we just finished Adorable Girl. So she wore two of the floral bonnets and um, yeah, just what you can do is when you put it on their head that you give something in their hand that they haven't had in their hand before, like a toy with some sound. So they're distracted so you can tie it. These hats are actually really comfortable, I think, because she was not pulling on the flowers at all. She kind of forgot that she was wearing it because it's so soft on the inside. The other one I have is heavier, so they feel it and then they start pulling on it, but maybe this girl was just super relaxed having stuff on her head, I don't know. It looked adorable, uh, and we also did tons of photos without. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have a discount code, um, also for these floral bonnets and the backdrops from Fox Backdrop. This one's not from Fox Backdrop, the one that was on before is theirs. Um, but yeah, I have a discount code, there's one that's valid throughout the year, I'm gonna put it in the screen right now. And then there's one that is valid from now onwards for two weeks. So when I'm uploading this video for two weeks and it's Fena 30 for 30% 30 discount. So yeah, we used the bed as well and it looked really cute. And I, I actually turned it away from the camera a little bit. So she was like looking over her shoulder and I thought that was really cute. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments and um, have a lovely day or evening wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.